Hey guys! Today we're going to be making a miniature version of the Pie Face game, so I really hope you'll enjoy. First you want to make a sketch so you know what size you want it to be, and then you also want to draw in the three, I guess, mechanics. Cut out two of these from a sheet of clay. Make three holes in the center of each of the mechanics to mark off where they're going to be. And cut a third piece of clay for the bottom. Next you want to make the handle. I took a piece of brass wire, but you can also use a toothpick. I used pliers to make a mark in the center, just so that the clay I'm going to wrap around it is not gonna slide around. Then wrap the center portion in clay that is as wide as the bottom piece. I used wire in the same thickness to poke a hole where the handle is gonna go on each side of the clay pieces. I took a head pin and made a loop and then attached this to the bottom. You want this to match up with where the last hole is on the side pieces. Next you want to take a sheet of metal, I'm using copper, but you can also use the thick metal from a can of food. Cut a strip. And then make a hole at one end. You then want to sandwich this between two sheets of clay and cut out the hand. After baking, you should have something like this. I took another small piece of metal and bent it like this, then glued this to the bottom of the stick of the hand. Cut open a small elastic, and then glued this to the end of the hand like this. Make sure to use a really strong glue. Next, you can attach the bottom piece to the side pieces and also add some clay for the front and back. Add a small piece of clay to each of the holes at the top, and then poke it with a batting tool. And then before baking, I added some liquid clay to both make sure that everything stuck together really well, but also to strengthen the loop at the bottom. After pre-baking, I added some clay to the top portion and then baked again. You then want to pull the elastic through the hole at the top as well as the loop at the bottom. And then once again you want to take a really strong glue and glue the other end of the elastic onto the bottom. Then cut off any excess. I cut two pieces of wire from a head pin and place these in the holes on the sides.
and then I also make sure that the handle fit. Cut and bend a new strip of metal to make the mechanism that is going to release the hand. And then slide this onto the wire on the left. I cut a strip of this gorgeous self-adhering fabric that I've never used, wonder why. And then wrap this around the center of the handle together with a small piece of metal to add some strength. And finally I wrap another strip of the fabric the other way around. You don't want it to be too long, but you want it to be long enough so that it can push the release mechanism. Before adding the second side piece, I painted some details using acrylic paint and then sealed everything with glaze. Make a small clamp from a piece of metal and glue this in place. This is what's going to hold the face chart. And then you also want to make, bake and glue on a chin rest. Next I sketched and painted a simple version of the face chart. You can also print it if you prefer. And once you have all the pieces, you want to attach the second side piece. If you want to close up the gap completely and make it look more neat, you can definitely glue it in place. I chose not to glue it just in case I needed to repair something on the inside, so the side could easily come off. Unfortunately, I didn't have any whipped cream at home, and it seems like kind of a waste to buy some just to use such a small amount. But hopefully you get the idea. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.